So what I have on my right is Yamaha FS80C, one of the most popularly bought guitars in India, priced at 7990 and this is made in India. Now Cort has launched this, this year in fact 2023 launch, this model is called AF500C, again launched in a very competitive price segment that is 7490. So a lot of customers has been asking which is a better choice for them. This has been a tried and tested guitar. We have reviewed this several times in the previous videos. This is the first video of Cot AF500C probably in India as well. So what are the differences, specification differences, sound differences? Let's get right onto it. Speaking about the specifications of Yamaha FS80C, first of all colors, it comes in two colors, one is natural and black. Natural, we have glossy natural top, you can see the reflection of the light and we have a matte back and side. Even the black, the, the top is glossy and the back and sides are matte in finish. Speaking about the wood, we have a spruce top and tone wood on the back and sides. So Yamaha hasn't really mentioned what type of wood, usually it's mentioned spruce or mahogany or anything of that sort. But back and side is just mentioned tone wood, uh, which means that it, this good, wood is good for tone but nothing of a specific quality. The bridge uh, and the fretboard both are rosewood. Uh, action is usually very good on this guitar. The tuning keys are standard open tuning keys. And the shape of this guitar is a concert size. Coming to the AF500C, this is a lighter guitar as compared to the Yamaha FS80C. Speaking about the color options, right now this is launched in a natural finish. But the good news is that this is going to get launched in three more colors. We have the natural, black, sunburst and an all mahogany as well. So the all mahogany is mahogany top as well. We'll get right onto it. About the colors, this is all a matte finish. Uh, more of a satin finish is what I can say. Getting into the wood specifications, we have a spruce top and mahogany back and side. The fretboard and the bridge is Murbau, which is an alternate to rosewood, which is found in a lot of instruments now. The tuning keys are a little better. This is die-cast tuning keys. Construction-wise, this is more or less uh, feels like the AD810 quality. It's, it's a little lighter in nature as compared to the Yamaha. Uh, maybe due to the mahogany, it is lighter in weight. Uh, about the colors, we as I mentioned, black, natural, sunburst and an all mahogany finish as well. When all mahogany comes into place, even the top will be mahogany. So the other colors are scheduled to be launched in March 2023. Right now available is only the natural color. Now one thing very important to mention is, Yamaha FS80C and F280 is a made for India guitar. So you will see only these models in Yamaha Music Store India. Any of the international websites do not carry these models, so it is exclusively made for India. In the similar way, any model above the Cot AD810, you can find it on the international Cot website. As of now, the AF500C is not listed on the Cot website, so I am guessing this is also a launch exclusively for India for the Indian consumers. So both these guitars are also available in an electroacoustic variant that goes above the 10,000 price range. This model will be called AF500CE and the Yamaha FS80C is called FSX80C in the electroacoustic variant. Both these guitars do not come with any accessories. There's no padded bag or a basic bag. Allen key is a standard accessory in all guitars. So no accessories can be expected with both the guitars. Now speaking about the finish quality, both these guitars are very well finished. There isn't really much finishing errors that I can expect from a guitar at this price range. Of course, a lower price range, under 10,000, the finishing is not absolutely great, but both guitars are pretty equal in terms of finishing. The second category is the build quality. In build quality, I have definitely found the FS80C to be a little more robust in build. Uh, this doesn't feel as uh, robust as the FS80C. So the weight also does play an important role for entry-level guitars. If the guitar is too light, it might go through some issues. However, this is not a tried and tested guitar, so I cannot really vouch yet. Yamaha FS80C is a tried and tested guitar and a lot of consumers have already left their valuable reviews on the internet. 
Speaking about the saddle and the nut quality, we have found the Yamaha saddle and nut to be a little more better, a more harder material, which means that it will last way longer. The cord also has a decent quality uh, saddle and nut, not exactly a plastic quality. This is the same saddle and nut that is found on cord AD810. Yamaha has a very dense quality saddle and nut, so it's not very prone to wear and tear very soon. Both the guitars have fret markers on the side, so it is easy visible of what frets you are playing. However, uh, here the visibility is not that great as compared to the Yamaha FSATC. There is more of a darker finish and very bright white dots on it. Here we have a more of a mild brown finish with the white dot. And so visibility of fret markers, I believe FSATC is a little more better. Both these guitars come default with the pick guard. The AF500C has a smaller pick guard and the FSATC has a bigger pick guard. Now one of the major differences in both this guitar are the body sizes. The Yamaha FSATC has a standard concert size uh, available. However, the Cot AF500C has a slightly smaller body in length. So if we calculate this length, it's one inch smaller than the Yamaha FSATC. It, the lower bout is also half inch smaller than the FSATC. So this is not a very standard concert size. This size can be popularly called as a medium size in India. Many uh, retailers also mention as a medium size guitar. It, so it's not a standard concert size, but also this becomes an advantage uh, for younger guitar players or if people have lesser height, this can be a little more comfortable than the FSATC. If you have checked out the FSATC and that also is feeling bulky and big to you, then this can be a little more comfortable as compared to the Yamaha FSATC. Now coming to the sound quality, the Yamaha FSATC and the Cot AF500C both have decent quality sound. However, we have found the FSATC to have a much better sound even though mahogany is used on this guitar. So I'm going to strum the Cot AF500C. There is a brief sound sample ahead of this video, but this is being captured by the lapel mic over here. <laughs> And now the Yamaha FSATC. So a little more resonant in nature, the bass response of FSATC is definitely much better. If you do not want that kind of a bass response and a more of a mids and highs segment, then Cot AF500C is definitely the choice you should make. This has definitely more bass, but there is, however, a conclusion to be made. The string quality that the AF500C has used is not of a good quality. The factory has not given a good quality string. So I believe it could also be that reason. The Yamaha comes with decent quality strings. Uh, from the beginning itself. It is both look like a bronze quality string. However, Yamaha string is definitely better. One of the very surprising factor is that the Cot AF500C is made in Indonesia. Yes, this is one of the only guitars other than the Aria that this is made in Indonesia in this price range. All the Yamaha made in Indonesia guitars you'll observe it will be about 12,000 rupees. This however is made in India. So we have that country difference also in terms of wood quality and build quality as well. So that was the specifications differences of the Yamaha FSATC and the Cot AF500C. It's time to check out how these guitars sound.
So that was the comparison between the Yamaha FS80C and the Cot AF500C. You should definitely choose the guitar that you liked more in sound. We definitely like the boldness and the balance of the Yamaha FS80C. However, there are many guitar players who like a little more mid and highs oriented guitar to balance with their vocals. The confusion between which guitar to get among these was definitely going to be there in the market and that is the reason we made this video ASAP. Our preference in sound was the Yamaha FS80C because it had a more bold and more balanced sound. Also, it is a tried and tested guitar, so we know how the guitar performs in the long run. The Cot AF500C is yet to see uh, multiple seasons so that we can see how the guitar behaves. So there is going to be a trial and testing on the guitar and multiple reviews can make us satisfy about the performance in the long run. Overall, both the guitars are very satisfactory in the price range in terms of finish, in terms of the specifications, very competitive in nature as well. Sound is very specific to your choice, so you should prefer the guitar that you liked listening in the video. So thank you again for watching. If you like this video and if you have any queries or doubts, you can reach us on our call and WhatsApp support. All the details are in the description as well, the links to buy as well. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product reviews and educational content. Until the next video, bye-bye.